Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I really genuinely appreciate you for still being here. So today I'm a little, I'm a day late, but I've got for you my top five favorite plants for the month of July. And I'm not going to lie, it was really, really hard not to put, I feel like I say this every single month. <laughs> it was really hard not to put all of my brand new Anthurium on this list. So there are definitely mostly new plants on the list today, but some that I've had, at least one that I've had for a while that I've really been loving and wanted to show you. So obviously the first one on my list today had to be a newer Anthurium. I was like, girl, just pick one. Okay, two, I picked two, but <laughs> this one's not like super new from my last unboxing, but I think a couple before that. And this is one that I picked up from Fontanimal Plant House down in North Carolina. I think they're in North Carolina. And it is my long bullet crossed with RLFS. So I'm pretty sure that the long bullet is a papilaminum and so is the RLFS. So it's basically just like a really dark, long, pap so obviously i've been loving it this leaf is the newest one out this is the first one out in my care it had these two previously so this is the newest and the biggest it's still hardening off it's got this really beautiful maroon color to it they used like tape they use this tape which is normal you got to tape down the pot but like now all my pots are like super sticky from them I think maybe from the heat but um yeah long eggs long bullet she's absolutely stunning I need to figure out the lighting in here better just so that it doesn't get washed out when I come up too close to the camera because I want to give you guys the lighting's not it's pretty earlier in the morning so it shouldn't be as bright but your girl definitely needs to sort out the lighting in here um better but number one on my list is this guy it's doing really well it definitely is ready for a repot and something deeper because this i don't know if there's a word for this the stem portion is getting pretty pretty long so anyway that is the first one on my list today for my favorites for the month of July because this is definitely like that new leaf that I've been staring at quite a bit my Bessier AFF is also working on a new leaf and then this guy is so it looks black on camera you can't even see this new leaf coming out of my um pap crossed with ace of spades dark form but this one is just so pretty I've been staring at her quite a bit and I've had her for a little bit longer than the new ones so I figured she didn't count <laughs> and that it was safe to put her on the list. Okay so number two on my list of favorites for the month of July is one that you guys have not seen since I purchased it and it is a Hoya. We are going to circle back around to another Anthurium but I wanted to mix it up a little bit and this is my Anth- not Anthurium my brain. <laughs> I'm not dyslexic. You're dyslexic. I keep on thinking that that's my hair, but it's actually the aerial root of the plant and it was growing up and I stuck it back into the moss pole. But anyway, I keep on thinking that like I have a hair sticking up and I'm like going to fix it. This is my Hoya Obscura variegated and look at how freaking cute she is. Look at her. She's been washed out. I don't like it when that happens but she's so stinking cute her variegation is absolutely adorable i'll zoom in on it for you so you can see it better without it getting washed out and she has grown quite a bit for me since i got her when i got her she was probably like to here so she is definitely more than doubled in size and i just absolutely love her i can't wait for her to be 
this big beautiful plant that I know she has the potential to be. This is the newer leaf and it's working on even more. The growth has not stopped yet. It's still going and I just absolutely love her. So I picked this one up from Gardino Nursery. I got it off of Palm Street, but you can just go directly to their website. So this is the Hoya Obscura um, variegated. I wasn't sure if it was like outer variegated or what, but man, I just really love this plant and it's getting closer and closer to the grow light in my cabinet. So I feel like it's getting even more and more beautifully variegated as she goes. So really, really cute kind of subtle variegation on her, but I think once she is a large hanging basket, y'all are going to go nuts for her. I cannot wait to be able to propagate her for you guys. So also just really love this little mug that my cousin picked up for me while she was in Japan a few years back, more than a few years back. It's been how life has changed <laughs> since then but I asked her to bring me something cool back from Japan and I love that she brought me home a really authentic handmade it even has like the person's little name or whatever I don't know what it says because I don't know how to read Japanese um instead of like something dumb and touristy so I just absolutely love this little mug. I've been using it as a planter for years and it's one of my favorites. I just think it's so stinking cute. So love this combo of the plant and the pot and everything about it just makes me really happy. So I put her on my list for this month. Okay, so plant number three for the month of July is a newer plant that we picked up. So in case you guys missed it, we went on a little road trip out to Kentucky. I had another plant shopping video in downtown Louisville for you guys, but I accidentally deleted it off my phone. So it's gone. And I'm bummed because I did snag some really cute pottery at the shop down there called Mahonia. So if you guys are in the area, I did not forget about the downtown area. I just accidentally deleted the footage, but on our way to Kentucky, we stopped because we road tripped it. We stopped in Erie, Pennsylvania. And while we were there, I was like, are there any nurseries around that we can stop at in the morning before we hit the road? And sure enough, a giant, beautiful, chaotic nursery came up and we went and walked around and they had some really good stuff. I'll link that video up here for you guys if you missed it, but all of that to say, I picked up this really, really cute Ripsalis. I forget which type, but it's fuzzy in Erie, Pennsylvania. I just thought it was so cute. It's not like I've never seen this one before. I just thought that this plant in particular was very cute. I like that it was all sticky uppy and that it had some uh, trailing bits to it. It has lots of new growth and I just thought it was really, really cute and David bought it for me and it just made me really happy. Like the whole memory of going and acquiring this plant just really makes me happy. So I wanted to put it on my list because I feel like that's one of the reasons why I love plant shopping when I'm on vacation or when I'm on road trips because I will look at this plant now forever and always remember that nursery and that day and how happy I was just to get out of the car, get out of a hotel and walk around a greenhouse and look at really beautiful plants. And um, yeah, David snagged this one for me and I love her. If you know her name, feel free to drop it in the comments below. I could Google it, but that wouldn't be very fun. <laughs> so really cute little fuzzy Ripsalis. It's not like pokey like a cactus. They're very, very soft. And I just love her. I can't wait to watch her grow and be a big, huge trailing plant. Some of my favorite plants in my personal collection are my Ripsalis. So let me know if you guys want a Ripsalis video where I show you all the ones that I have and how I care for them. A lot of them need to be repotted. I just recently repotted my Paradoxa, but I have a huge one. 
a huge one in a hanging basket that definitely needs um, new soil. So anyway, I'm rambling about this plant. This is number three. This cute little Ripsalis is number three on my list of my favorites for the month of July. Okay, so number four on my list is that brand new Anthurium. In case you guys missed my last massive haul. I do have another one coming for you probably next week um, or this coming weekend maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But I chose one plant, just one, one from that whole unboxing. And if you watched it, I saved this one for last because it was definitely the one that I was the most excited about. But let me tell you, the rest of them are also gorgeous. And I'm looking at a couple of them right now. And I am obsessed, obsessed, but it would not be right of me to not put this one here on the list because this was the one that I was most excited about. And it is the Papilaminum crossed with the Warroquianum and then it was crossed with itself. So it's a hybrid that was selfed. So you can definitely see the Papilaminum. They must have used the parent must have been a nice dark pap, which mm, I just I love, like the one I showed you, like really nice dark long pap. And then crossed with the Warroquianum, which is just the classic Queen Anthurium with the really long, skinny, velvety leaves, just ended up giving you this velvety, it's literally sparkly, like it sparkles. I love a velvety leaf that sparkles in the light. It's just so good. It's so good. Um, it was working on this new emergent. I it doesn't look good. It's getting a little shungad, as the uh, Italian Americans would say. <laughs> so if you know, you know. Um, but hopefully the next one out after that will be totally fine. This one's just going to probably be a little wonky. Wonky just from the stress of being shipped and being in a new environment and all that jazz. But I don't usually worry about that because like I said, the next one out after it is going to be perfectly fine and perfectly beautiful. Of course, it's a bummer. You don't want to miss out on a beautiful new leaf, but it is what it is. We still have this one to look at because whoa, girl, whoa, she's so dark and long and narrow and it's just everything with the lobes look at these lobes it's just everything i could want in an anthurium and i really can't wait to breed with this one in the future she is not in catafil yet but hopefully very very soon and a lot of my larger ones are definitely getting to that point where they're gonna be in catafil which just means that i can breed them and I'm very excited. So had to put this guy at what? Number four. Yeah, number four. Obviously in no particular order because this one might just be my new favorite plant, honestly. But this one's just, it's just straight up black. I think this one might be the darkest in my, in my collection. This one's from Woohoo Tropicals. It is the Pap Woo 6 crossed with Ace of Spades dark form, which are both two very dark plants. So um, I couldn't put her on the list again because I just had her on not long ago and I feel like y'all already know that she's my favorite, but I don't know. They might be just as dark. Should I cross them? Or are they too similar? I don't know. They're just so, so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. So number five, I wanted to put on my list, not necessarily because it's a favorite. I do think it's really cool, but I didn't get a chance to show it to you guys yet. And I thought that this was a good opportunity to show you some of the newer plants that I picked up while I was in Worcester over at the plant ward. So I do have some short form content that's going to go out for you guys, but I didn't film like a proper video. I just kind of showed you the new stuff that they've gotten in since the last time we were there and the stuff that I snagged for myself, but spoiler alert, <laughs> I know a lot of you don't watch my short form anyway, so it's fine. I had to show you guys this little weird begonia that my cat made a snack out of because he was in here unsupervised. 
apparently. Uh, he's fine. This was like days ago and I should actually just get rid of this. So I snagged this little begonia, begonia nat natunensis, natunian, I don't know. Here's the tag. And I just thought she was so stinking cute. So I've been able to keep this one happy for quite some time. I don't remember. I think I actually got this one at the plant ward as well. If not, I think I got it when we were still in Connecticut. I moved with this plant and it's actually gotten way bigger. And it's a Rex begonia. It's got these really weird like hairy leaves and I snagged it so that I could put it in my gecko's enclosure and I just have not gotten to it yet because I have to get them new enclosures and get them set up and it's a whole process, but I am gonna be doing that very soon. So I just thought this one was also really, really cool and this one's given me a lot of confidence in my begonia care. So I felt like it was safe to snag this one. I just think it has like peperomia vibes i i call these ones they look like they have they look like they have booty holes it looks like a butt does it not look like a butt it is a butthole <laughs> i just thought the texture was really cool the leaf shape is really unique and i think it's gonna look really cool in the vivariums with my geckos so new leaf hanging out over here and i don't know i just i'm starting to get into begonia again like actual weird rex begonia i went through my angel wing begonia phase years ago if you guys have been here you remember that um don't have any of those anymore but i've really been enjoying the rex begonia mostly just because they're gonna go they're gonna go in a vivarium where they're gonna do a lot better i have a rex begonia in my crested geckos enclosure and it's been thriving in there so begonias i put begonias on the list you guys which is really weird i don't know what this one is called oh i do it's on here i think it was from begonia size morier yeah this one i got from paul's and sandy's i can tell by the tag so i've had this one for months and she hasn't declined she's only grown and gotten bigger and happier so I think I've cracked the code. We'll find out. <laughs> I can keep this one happy as well. So I had to show it to you just because I do think it's really cool and really unique and different and you haven't seen it. So it's at number five on my list of favorites for the month of July. And then honorable mention for this month just because I want to, not even this month, isn't it today's the first day of August? I'm late, but that's okay because I, I literally could not film yesterday. It was like storming and it was super loud out there and I just, I just wasn't, wasn't, wasn't the vibe, was not vibing. So this is a sundew i don't know what type of sundew but it's really weird it's a carnivorous plant it's it's probably pretty thirsty i haven't watered it in a couple of days but it's like it's sticky ah uh, you definitely can't see it but i can <laughs> was that a bug of course it was because it's on the plant anyway do you see I'm fine. Everything is fine. All the fungus gnats that it has already caught and it's got this weird little flower and I just think it's cute. So I wanted to show it to you today because I snagged this also at the plant ward. And apparent, but apparently it's also from Emma's. Both of these are from Emma's. So cute. So I had to throw the sundew on there because I didn't show it to you guys. You didn't see it because I didn't film it. So now you know what I picked up at the plant ward. So that is it fam for my top five favorite house plants for the month of July. Let me know what your favorites are. Have you snagged any new plants that you're really loving? Do you have some new growth? on a plant that you've had for a long time that has just made you fall in love with it all over again because plants have a way of doing that where they're fine, they're just chilling, but then for whatever reason they start thriving and you're like, wow, 
you're beautiful. <laughs> I knew you were beautiful, but like, wow. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. You can get yourself some perky perks, like extra content, and I'm definitely gonna be working on some new stuff. I know I've been saying it. Life has been so hectic. We're finally like home and not going anywhere for a while, so I feel like I can like get back on schedule here. So I love you guys so so very much. If you watched this whole entire video, leave me your favorite animal emoji. I don't know if I've done that one. Have I done that one? Your favorite farm animal. Mine are cows. I just really like cows. They're so cute. And this is why I can't eat them. And um, I love you. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. I need like a little rainbow in the world. Editing Jackie. Add it. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to stay hydrated, fam. And I hope I see you in the next one.